Okay, we're back inside, and obviously this is the new Lionheart magazine. Nice and engraved. Beautiful finish, just like these other Metgar magazines. Nice reflective finish. So, let's go ahead and I'll look over this. This is also the stock one that came with the pistol. Not as reflective, but still a nice still a nice magazine. But we're going to go over this real quick. So, let me grab that. As you can see, this is laser engraved by Lionheart. Very nice design. I like it. And, of course, 15 round capacity marked. And there's supposedly changes here, and I'm going to get into that with uh, these two. These are different generation magazines, I believe. But, as you can see, you have the base plate here, which is engraved. Lionheart Industries. And you can see it's bumped up a bit. And you have your little cutout right here. That goes in with the grip right here kind of completes this area for you to be able to grab the magazine and you have these little cutouts right here that help you as well so that's nice but let's go ahead and take this magazine apart and show you how this thing stays on so first thing you want to do is grab a punch and while you're pushing down it'll just be a little bit of relief and then you push forward as you're pushing forward you'll feel it disengage and go under the base plate so push it out. It's a pretty good uh, tight fit. It's not really the tightest like you can't get it off or you need a lot of strength but you'll notice there's a good amount of friction so that's nice. So all the guts here are Metgar. It's provided with the magazines. It's in a contract that they have with Metgar. By the way their test is 10 feet loaded and they drop it several times and it cannot come off or show any real signs of damage. That's pretty impressive. So they definitely needed to get their polymer right. So with this you can see how it works. It's a it's like the reverse of how typical base plates work where the slots are up top here and just holding it. Instead it's in here that it's holding it in and you can see a little ramp to kind of help it in and I'm going to show you how to put it back together but this is a very precise very precise uh, made base plate and it's very tight if you will so just putting it on right here you can see how it goes on you want to use the angles right here to kind of help you push it down flush pardon me doing this on camera and once you push it down flush you want to hold it down and then I use my index finger kind of like a trigger and I push back and it's a pretty tight fit. There is no wiggle. Pardon me, hair. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now getting it off. Feels like it has a good amount of spring tension underneath, but that's just because it's basically they're they're fitting. It, it's got to be precisely fit, and it, of course it's got to be tight and have no uh, leeway so that it can pass the testing. So basically, the pressure in that keeps it nice and tight, and difficult to put on, is pushing these inward and that's basically clamping them into these cutouts down here so it's pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together put everything inside and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to put it back together very simple very easy to use okay so I have the magazine base caught on one of the lips this is just to hold it here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide thumb pressure here while I get this into position I'm gonna push down just as I showed you and then I'm going to push in. Pardon me trying to do this on camera. It's kind of tricky. So you want to provide good tension down. Make sure it's in line. And then you can start pushing to the rear. And same method as before. Trigger finger style. And then with this it wants to go in the ramp but it would have to be a little bit more of an aggressive cutout for it to hit it while it's out of position. So Go ahead and push this forward a little bit. So as you can see, it's not really in line with the ramp, but the ramp is made a little wider. So what I do is I just give this a little push downwards, and then it goes right into the ramp, as you can see there. And then you're good. Clicks right into position. So there you go. Very easy to maintain, very easy to put back together, just got to keep in mind that it's a tight fit for a reason and you got to compensate for that. So no big deal. Now, 
Let's go ahead and look at the modification that was done here versus uh, these two magazines. So, my theory is that the magazines that they are getting from Metgar are not the older generation, but I just want to show you the difference here. You see this area right here, this corner? You can see it's bent back slightly. And it's somewhat aggressive, but not too much. But, if we grab this one, we can see it's a little straighter. It's not really bent back as much. It's a little more straight. Now, I also want you to notice something very interesting. It's the followers. This is an older magazine, I believe. Might be a more current one, but you can see the difference in the followers, how this goes forward to a certain point and then flattens out. This does not. It just keeps going. A little bit different in the follower. And then this one, same follower. My my theory is that this is the updated follower for the 5906 magazines by Metgar. And as you can see, they're very similar in their angle. The 20 round magazine is just slightly uh, slightly pushed back and they said it's about a 10,000th push forward. But here's the thing that's also interesting. If you take the original Look at that, see how it curves all the way around? Kind of interesting how, how this these two are in comparison to each other. The followers look very similar. And this is a stock one, this is a Korean magazine. And as you can see, it's very interestingly similar except for the back area there. It, this seems to be a little bit more fragile. You kind of have to bend it in a little bit after time goes by to kind of keep it down. With the Medgars, I didn't really have too much of a problem with that. But I want to go ahead and show you the fit between these two and these two. So, first off, let's start with the original magazine. With the original magazine, as you can see here, it fills in this area right here and it's very close to the slide stop and that's not really a big deal to me but for some people it may be but also I want you to notice the relief here between the ejector and the magazine and I'm pushing on the base of the magazine trying to push it up as high as possible look at that relief and look at that clearance right there the back of the magazine is not really threatening too much to be exposed and you can see the the very thin feed lips now, if we take the older, what I presume to be the older design Metgar, this is a 17 rounder, and you put it in, I'm pushing on the base, look at that, it wants to impact. It really wants to impact the ejector, and if you slam it in too hard, it will. And look how the exposure is right here. That much actually stops my slide from going forward, but when I release it, it goes down and out of the way. So... You know, that's just something that I did not like about the Metgar magazines. So, that was always a concern. And even with no pressure on the bottom of the magazine, that relief is not really that great. And, yeah, I'm not too impressed with it. But, let's go ahead and look at the 20 rounder now. So, with the 20 rounder, you insert it and it has a lot more room. And I'm pushing on the bottom of the magazine and it is actually making an impact with the ejector and it is much more aggressive and this has stopped my slide from uh, pushing the rounds into the magazine several times I actually had uh, this one give me problems before any of the others uh, that's just something that I did not like about these Metgar magazines but as you can see the same thing is true with the uh, 17 round magazine it's just right here it doesn't really threaten the slide stop very much so I'm not sure what the modification was for but that's just what I was told as to why the, that was done. Perhaps it actually was a problem at one point in time. Can't really question, just relaying what I was told. So, the new magazine, as you can see here, very similar to the, uh, the older 17-round uh, magazine. There's not much, uh, not much clearance, but there is some clearance when you're not pushing on the magazine. But because of the stopper, the little extended piece right here it stops the magazine from going up that's always going to be the case no matter how hard you slam it into the pistol 
and even if I'm pushing on it, it'll never give me a problem uh, getting the slide to go home. It is always going to be in line. And with this, again, it's forward of the slide stop, nice and out of the way a good amount. So again, I'm not really sure why that was done, why they didn't really just kind of copy the Daewoo design, but I guess it's just easier to take a, a Mechgar mag and just modify it. So, you know, as long as it works, I'm very happy with it. So, yeah, springs are tight. The follower's uh, good quality. It's a very good proven follower. 20 round magazine still works very well, so that must uh, count for something. So, yeah, I would say that the follower might be one of the reasons this thing is giving me issues. Who knows? But all I know is the new magazine works with the charm and doesn't give me any problems. But there you have it. Lionheart is now making their own magazines with the help of Metgar, of course. So go on their website at lionheartindustries.com and go ahead and order yours today. I'll put it down in the description below.